welcome to my channel today we are going to start uh, unboxing of Fortinet firewall so this is the Fortinet firewall this is the box so this is a uh, uh, user guide this is user guide Here you can get all of the configurations of 48 firewall. You can check here. This is the information booklet where you can get the components of 48 firewall, which is uh, into the box. This is the LAN cable, this is a cross cable, this is screw, this one is also screw, this is a rack mounting uh, socket, this is uh, power adapter. This is the power adapter cable. And this is the firewall. This is the 48 firewall 60E. This is the latest model. This is the 48 firewall. You can see that there is a console port, there is an USB port, this is the reset button, this is the power connector, this is the USB port. Here is a two WAN port, WAN 1 and WAN 2. Another is one is a DMZ, demilitarized zone. And these 1 to 7, these all are LAN ports. Okay, this is the front face of the 48 firewall 60E. Okay, uh, so now we want to configure this firewall right now. All start. So now we are going to configure this 48 firewall. So at first I clear this box. So this is the power adapter. I just opened it. This is the power cable. I just plugged it. I just plugged it here. This is the point which will connect this 14-8 firewall. This is connected. Just power on the switch. Let's see. Fortinet firewall is getting started. So now we configure. Now we configure the Fortinet firewall. So we need a laptop. I have a cable. I just connect it into the LAN port, LAN number one. Another, another side is connected to the laptop.
taking some time to getting on few seconds see this port is getting on go to run ncpa.cpl here go to properties IP version 4 properties make sure that uh, the DHCP must enable means uh, we have to select obtain IP address automatically because our firewall is or uh, by default configured uh, DHCP service so I just click OK 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 I just check what IP address is taken from DHCP server see the IP address is taken from DHCP server is 192.168.1.112 and the gateway is 192.168.1.99 so the by default the firewall IP address is which is uh, the which is connected over LAN that is 192.168.1.99 go to browser and type that IP address Click advance. This is a certification error. So click advance and proceed. Username is admin. Password is blank. By default, uh, 48 firewall doesn't have any password. I just change tick letter. <coughs> this is the console of 48 firewall 60E. This is the host name, this is the serial number, firmware version is 5.6.4 and these are the configurations. So now I connect an internet uh, to the Fortinet firewall. So before we connect internet I have to configure interface see I connect the LAN interface LAN port number 1 this is a graphical view of LAN interface and the IP address is 192.168.1. something series IP address so now I configure the WAN 1 port select the WAN 1 click edit I just uh, Say check the alias, set the alias, set when. Okay. Just when. Rule is a when port. You can select a LAN, WAN, DMZ or undefined. I just select WAN port. Type of an IP address is manual. I just provide an IP address. 192 just check once again once which IP address is free okay 217 IP address is free from my network I just send an IP, I just provide an IP address that is 192.168.100.117 slash 255.255.255.0 administrative access via HTTPS and HTTP pin these are the protocols which you want to uh, enable uh, with that IP address. I just set OK. See, IP address is set. So now I connect my internet LAN network. This 
is my uh, internet cable i just plugged it into one port as before that i just set a ping request ping space for is not done we just change the firewall at first i just turn off the firewall still you can get still you can just check that uh, the ip address is not communicating so now i connect the internet with that one port is connected you can check wait few seconds see when one light is blinking okay when one light is blinking but still the request is time out still request is destination host and region why because we need to configure uh, some rules for firewall i just refresh this page once see wan port is getting up 1000 mbps connection okay now i go to a static routes option create a new rule i just provide a uh, Uh, default route for this uh, uh, session. I just set zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. That means any network ID with any subnet marks it can satisfy the criteria and send the packet through my this gateway. This gateway interface is when I just said okay. <coughs> so root is configured. So you can check that all my pinging request is coming now. So I just open Google. check google is also opened okay so this is my dashboard this is my dashboard where you can get on monitor the traffic cpu uses everything this is the memory uses this is the sessions uses so if we want to configure any rule go to the policies and objects ip version 4 policies here you can get the implicit rule is configured which is deny all by default firewall support implicit deny rule so if we want to uh, bypass any traffic we have to create a rule uh, to bypass a traffic so here you can get uh, implicit rule is denied but here is a rule is configured for internal lan to wan means any internal traffic means any lan traffic will forward to the uh, wan port here you can get the rule where everything is allowed see this is the internal to wan service all source all destination all everything is allowed if i set this deny
see request is timed out okay so I just enable this rule packet is going out thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you